the other was the the split format. A lot of people said, you know, the, isn't that going to be um, by having the finals, the eight finals, um, the end of October? Those players then have to come back for that. Right. And people were concerned and questioned me about the extra cost for the players. Well, I'll be glad to handle that as well. Okay. Um, we are paying 100% uh, of the expenses for the player and their guests from airfare to limos around town to all their food. So everything's taken care of for them there. We, we don't want to see the players come out of pocket twice. Yeah. Uh, the Open Division is going to be the most talked about division. It's a winner-take-all division this year. Right. Uh, again, there's a lot of buzz in the media and a lot of people are going to be watching TV. And You can call it a little bit of reality TV, but we, we could not keep pressing rinse and repeat on the TV program that we were producing. A 90-minute special that aired around Christmas time and re-aired four or five more times. Yeah. You know, we did that since 1995. Right. We tried a couple ways to make it look live, and then a couple times we did documentary style. So when I approached the Golf Channel for a media partner, they demanded that the finals be live. Okay. And they demanded that these guys come back so that we can actually give people a rooting interest and a visionary interest in October. They named Long Drive Month after October yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. So. You're going to start seeing everything about power golf in October on, on, on Golf Channel. So October 9, you tune in, you're like, wow, Remax Long Drive looks cool. Look at these guys trying to make their way to Mesquite. Then you watch show two the next week. I'm going to start getting a rooting interest. I'm going to root for that guy, that guy, that guy. Right. Now they're competing in Mesquite. Now only 16 are left. Show three, you watch the 16. I'm pulling for that guy now. I want that guy to win. What a great story. We can do the backstories now. Because after they leave Mesquite, we're going to follow them. Cameras are going to follow them home and watch them for a month. Not a whole month, but at least get a feel for who they are. Yeah. So now the finals can be live for two hours, just like NBC does in the Olympics. You get to know those backstories on the players. So I just couldn't do a 90-minute show anymore uh, and, have it, and, and, and have it be taped with the results already known, and it just didn't have any legs left in it. So yeah. never a better time for Golf Channel, the most fastest-growing network on cable. Owned by I know, NBC, I watch it all the time. and we got NBC Sports December twenty eighth for a cut down yeah. version of that show, a one hour show. So yeah. I couldn't be more thrilled. We we've quadrupled our TV exposure. We've added three more shows. Mm -hmm. We've brought more people, you know, to the event. So everything's really good. Okay. We just need to sell some sponsorships. <laughs> I'll talk to my uh, advertising manager. Um, the winner takes all. That is a major change this year from past years. Yes. Um, $250,000 to the, the guy that hits it the longest on October 30th. Yes. What, what about the others? Well, um, you know, this is, uh, this is the way the format is this year, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. There's a part of me that doesn't like it, okay. and there's a part of me that loves it. Okay. Um, and right now, it's financially what we can afford and do, and with the Golf Channel, they love the idea. Mm -hmm. So what I wish the players were playing for a million dollars, and I wish we had more sponsors that were at a golf that would put money into this. So it's going to take a year on TV for potential partners to say, wow, that looks really exciting, I want to get my company involved with it, yeah. and put up several hundred thousand dollars to pull this off. You know, we, en we endured an incredible amount of cost to produce four shows versus one, and right. to have two finales versus, versus one. So costs are dramatically higher, more than I ever thought it would be. Yeah. Um, you know, the Speedway event is, is actually going to cost just as much as us being up here for 11 days. So it's, uh, it's very costly, and at least players, the, the salvation is is those eight finalists. In fact, the 16 are going to get a ton of TV time. Yeah. You know, and, okay. and uh, I wish I could do better, but that's what we got this year. The other divisions are status quo, and we're going to pay out Looks like about four hundred fifty thousand dollars plus again, those travel per diems. I do want to also say that players nine through sixteen that don't make it to Vegas, we are stipending them two thousand dollars for their travel to come to Mesquite for that finish as well. So we're paying an additional sixteen thousand dollars out to them. Not many people okay. know about that as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I I thought I had heard that somewhere. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so this Saturday, the 21st, yeah, big day, championship is Saturday. Big day. Sure, six division finals. Uh, Let's three, not forget about the women and the heck no, old yeah, guys. Hey, we got six divisions, <laughs> you know, from the masters to the grand champions, the super seniors, legends, um, and the ladies, of course. You know, we're going to crown 
and the seniors. We're going to crown six Remax titles, and this is big for these players. Give yeah. out a lot of money on. Uh, you know, we're going to give out I think uh, almost two hundred thousand dollars on this next Saturday. Okay. This Saturday, I should say, the twenty-first. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. You know, you'll have eight seniors left, and then four in all the other divisions. Three ladies left, and uh, they battle. They care, and yeah. you know. We're providing a, a wonderful venue for them to, to hit. It's a buy-in division where they pay their entry fee. And mm -hmm. It's not grassroots qualifying, but it's definitely a big day. We yeah. expect a good crowd, and it should be a fun day. And what time does that start this Saturday? 3 o'clock this Saturday, and uh, we're hosting the Chamber of Commerce Luncheon on, on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Okay. Long Drivers of America is um, for all area businesses to come out. We're going to have special seating for them on the tee. Okay. for uh, area businesses, kind of our salute to area businesses and then the following Friday is our salute to the Mesquite Township for the citizens to come out and support the players from 10 to 1. Great. It's critical for that TV show and we have a lot of giveaways, a lot of things going on with that. So the two biggest days for our time in Mesquite are September 21st, be here at 2, 2.30 to get some seats Okay. and then uh, Saturday the 27th, be here at 9 a.m. to watch these players go for it because that's it. Nine are going home, and nine are going to get to come back to Vegas. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember years ago um, when this event was still fairly small, um, and, you know, clear back to 201, it was the first time I ever saw it when I first year. moved yep. here. Yep. It was over at the Palms Golf Course. Yep. One set of bleachers. Yep. One trailer. That was it. Yeah. And now, you know, you, you really, really have expanded this whole uh, championship. Well, we're proud of it. Um, again, it's a big growing pain deal this year. This year was all about the TV. I had to take my company and actually roll it back on one way, eliminate our tour, and focus on the REMAX World Long Drive Championship, both in Mesquite and in Las Vegas. So we made a big decision to cut our business and our time constraints constraints with other events to just do this one event this year. It, it takes that much and, and it was very costly. Mm -hmm. So we, we have vision to grow the company in the next two to three years. We must, you know, but it, since 01, yeah, 400 competitors. Somebody was saying, wow, we used to do this event in three days, you know, and, yeah. and everybody saw each other and everybody played the Pro-Am and I said, well, yeah. We have nine times more of the players now. We used to have 48, now we have 400. Yeah. And so, you know, players that are 65 years old or the ladies are not going to probably see the other guys because it's it takes a long time. We're four on the tee every two minutes and 45 seconds. We're moving them. Wow. And it's just uh, tens of thousands of golf balls getting hit. <laughs> yeah. For sure. But uh, yeah. we hope we get the people to come out and support it. Okay, well, thank you so much, Art. I You're appreciate welcome. your time, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you a lot in the next 10 days. So, you got it. welcome back to Mesquite. Thanks for staying with us. Um, thanks for renewing the contract and keeping the event here in Mesquite. Yeah, it was a, a, a great effort from Golf Mesquite, the Mesquite Resort Association, and the city to come together, and then on their, what I call their half, and then Las Vegas to, to, to kind of split this up and, and, and help. I think it was a really, I think everybody really won. I know everybody's going to think they did when they see what economic impact and what exposure impact they're going to see from October, November, December to have all this television for the area. So I only hope it prospers and should be good. Okay, great. Thank you, Barbara. All right, thank you.